Hey y'all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're leaving Superior, Wisconsin. Had a good little stay at that little RV park here. And guess what? We are in cooler weather. It is humid, I will admit that. But much cooler than when I was down in the central part of the U.S. What's the old saying, chasing 70? Well, I'll do that. How about 70 or 80 degrees? I'll do that too. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take a cool little trip. This Highway 2, we're heading east. We're gonna pick up uh, what they call a Wisconsin Scenic Byway. It's Highway 13. And it's gonna run us up along the northern shore of uh, Wisconsin here. Should be some cool towns to go through, some beaches. Who knows what we're gonna find up here. Well, I'm all stocked up with food, fuel. So right up the road here should be uh, our turn off. Big rest area right here off to the right. little overcast. I don't think we'll get rained on. Uh, when I watch the weather last night, it's all over the place. <laughs> you know, Great Lakes is just like being on the ocean. Okay, here we go. Our exit's coming up. Gonna shoot for going clear to Bayfield. Gonna go to Sand Bay for sure. And there are some little towns along the way. Uh, this, we'll see what we get into. But this is uh, considered a Wisconsin Scenic Byway. Okay, here we go. Highway 13. Here's our exit. Make a left here. I seen a sign back there that said Lake Superior Circle Tour too, so Yay. Now you can see the clouds. The sun's coming up. Hopefully we hit blue sky soon. Okay, right up here, our first little stop. It's supposed to be a log cabin and a windmill. Some old buildings that have been saved through the years. That'll be our first stop. And I just seen a sign form. Should be one of these roads up here. Here we go. Oh, I see them right there. First stop, back road, small towns. Never know what we're gonna find. Oh wow, look at that. And on the maps it showed that was a big windmill. Looks like they're restoring it. Very cool. Saving history. Yeah, that thing's being remodeled. Very good. There's some old buildings here. We'll walk around. It's supposed to be a bridge.
Northern Pacific Blueberry Depot. Brief history about our exhibit. These buildings were probably moved here. Looks like everything dates back into the late 1800s, early 1900s. That print's pretty small to read, but hey, it's here. Here's that old bridge. Now that's an old timer. Big old thick wood beams, planks, whatever you call them. No wonder it's lasted this long. Here you go, that's when it was really setting on a road. Imagine all the cars and trucks. Taylor's Bridge, Wisconsin's last Queen Post Bridge. They probably looked like they moved it here. But it's still standing. Looks in pretty good shape. Looks like it could still handle cars, huh? Wow. That's neat. School in house. Dates back to like 1900. Different families owned and lived here. Wow. And it's been reconstructed. How cool. Saving history. What's the old saying? If these walls could talk. Cool little stop, first one of the day. Everything nice and green. Ooh, what's this building? See another sign. The family sauna. Huh. There you go, especially in the winter around here, it's frigid. I'll be darned. Well, we got some miles to do yet. From where we were at Superior up to that Sand Bay, it's about 80 miles, and all the way to Bayfield, it's over 100. Still not bad. We got all day to do it in. Well, if you get a chance, you're running around out here in this uh, Wisconsin Highway 13 Scenic Byway. Stop, check them out. Hopefully that uh, windmill, they'll have that done. All right, load up. We're hitting the road. See patches of blue sky, it might clear on us. Doesn't really seem like it'll rain. This is the old Highway 13 right here. Quite a few cars. It's probably all going to work in Superior. We're going to go do a little sightseeing. We want to see Lake Superior in 
cooler weather. The heat is on across the country, that's for sure. You watch the weather, it's uh, everywhere. Up here, this is probably hot for this area. To me, it's cool. <laughs> Roads kind of tore up in patches. Looks like they're doing some serious road work. I'm sure they have a small window to get their road construction completed. Winters are long up here. You know what's cool too? You see a lot of snowmobile trails and markings and stuff. Here you go, they're really working it. Maybe they're adding drainage? I'd say so. Pretty serious construction. Well, this is probably the main road for a lot of these little towns. Traffic's pretty light. A few trucks, a couple cars. It's really tree lined, it's hard to see anything off to the sides. Here's an intersection. We go left, stay on 13. Yep. Should be getting closer to the lake. A few miles up here yet. There, that's what it looks like off to the side. Those forests are just thick. They must replant trees here after they forest, chop them down. You'd get lost in there, couldn't you? Supposed to be a uh, overlook pull out up here. As soon as I find it, we'll stop, take a break for a little bit. Skies are starting to clear up. Hey, 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 how's this? <laughs> Perfect. Take a break for a little bit. And there's Mighty Lake Superior. August and still got flowers. Probably September. It's weather changes pretty quick. Van's doing good. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to brew up a cup of coffee and sit here for a while. Let the sun come up a little more. And just enjoy this uh, view and quiet. And a handy thing to carry, bug spray. 
mosquitoes and bugs are thick up here. I always have a couple cans in the van. The cool thing is my little coffee maker. This is a single cup Black & Decker coffee maker. It runs off my uh, solar battery. Right there, just have it plugged in. And I can make a cup of coffee anytime I want. And I really enjoy coffee on the road. And it's starting to brew now. I switch around a lot. This is Folgers Gourmet Supreme. It's kind of a medium dark. Sure smells good when that's brewing though. One of the little perks. You know, people ask me what I do for food and drinks and all that. This is basically it. Right here in the van, I cook and make most of my own stuff. Well, uh, that cup of Joe's brewing, let's check out the lake, mighty Lake Superior. Doesn't it look like the ocean? Well, they are many oceans, my opinion anyway. Superior, we're going to be seeing uh, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron on this trip too. We're going to cover a lot of different miles here. There's a good look. That's what how tree-lined these roads are, so you don't see much when you're driving down through there. Some of that haze is from all the wildfire smoke out of Canada. Hard to believe we're up here, but we are. Northern Wisconsin. Oh, cool. Didn't even notice this. Here's a map. This is what we're traveling. Lake Superior Scenic Byway. Quite a few stops. Looks like we got Port Wayne, Herbster, another town, Cornucopia. We're going to end up up there by that number seven. What a cool little stop. Sure is peaceful here. But we got miles to do. Let's keep on rolling. There's a good look of where we were. One thing about Wisconsin, they got a lot of places you can pull off the road. The lake is right there through those trees. See a lot of little cabins, homes. What a place to live, huh? There you can see it through the trees a little bit. 
Those are nice looking homes back down in there. And I think we're coming upon our first little town, Port Wing. Want to check her out, huh? Because there really hasn't been months since we turned off uh, Highway 2 back there, getting on uh, the scenic byway. Been all like open land, farms, and all that. So, welcome to Port Wing. Ooh, I see a campground off to the right. Oh, cool. Little park here. Let's stop. We have seen so many flowers this summer. Just colorful, perfect. Little towns are just full of them. Huh? Heritage Hall, this looks like a little historic museum and library. <laughs> That's what the sign said. 125 years, wow. Wisconsin history right here in Port Wing. A big old pine there. Some little buildings out back. It's not open, but we'll peek through the windows. There's the old jailhouse. Don't break the law here. Jail was built 1800s, late 1800s. A policeman back then was paid $45 a month. He said lumberjacks used to be pretty uh, rough working up here. Small town history. I like them old wood barrels. That sign also said those walls are two inch thick solid wood. So they couldn't break out of it. This building was a fishery office. Well, cool. Well, walk around the park. Looks like a fire department there. Small towns, they all have a bell, don't they? They probably have their yearly functions down here and ceremonies. This has that small town feel. Little playground for the kiddos. Kind of a perfect little like Mayberry, huh? <laughs> and of course, flagpole. Like a veterans memorial there. I wonder what these wagons are up here. A 
Wagon is all closed in. What's this? Port wing brownstones. Looks like remnants from an old building. Oh, I just look at that, a school bus. Horse drawn school bus. Replica. <laughs> oh man. That's pretty cool. More information about schools back in. Look at that teacher. Forty dollars per month. Principal is seventy bucks. So you know how you tell your uh, kids and grandkids, hey, I went to school in the snow. <laughs> Barefoot, uphill. You can say, I rode in that wagon. My goodness. No windows or anything in that thing. <laughs> but them kids had fun riding in that. That one's like a sled for the snow. Well, always learning something. Smokey Bear says, low fire danger today. All right, well, we say we'll head on down the road. Check the maps. There's that campground across the street. We're probably a good quarter mile in from the lake. A lot of rigs over there. You know, if you're stuck down south, want to get cool in the summer, this would be a good place to come to. Fort Wing, Wisconsin. All right, let's get trucking. There's the rear view cam all set up. That's a magnetic mount that holds the camera. Then also I got the front cam. Also with a magnetic mount. on Highway 13. Been a really good trip so far. Very scenic. Especially once we got up near the lake after about the first, what, 20 miles. And I checked the phone back there on the maps. Looks like we got another little town coming up pretty quick with a campground that's right on the lake. Here it is here. Welcome to Herbster, Wisconsin. Looks like we can cut down near the water. We'll find that campground too. Here we are. Little store there. Here's our street to the left. I'm cheating, I got it on uh, Google Maps. <laughs> like I really knew where everything was here. And I see the mighty Lake Superior. Yeah. 
Yay, made it. And campground to the right. I see a little park to the Let's check the beach first, then we'll drive through the campground. Nice and calm. Good weather. Not a bunch of wind. Little community park. And flowers. Gotta love it. So this is what it's like in Herbster, Wisconsin. Just sit on the bench, listen to the waves crash on the shore. Morning. Ride your bicycle. Grab a fishing pole, maybe, huh? Catch dinner. Peaceful. be pretty tough living here. Except in the winter. Of course, you could ice fish. <laughs> There's islands up here somewhere. I think a little farther up the road. Apostle Island? I remember seeing it on the map. Let's go uh, sneak around this campground. I'm just going to drive through where we've seen the beach here. Really good reviews online for this place. I see some tent campers. What a perfect place to tent camp. Oh, that fire smells good, too. Nothing like a good campfire, huh? So it looks like tents on the beach, and over here is your RVs. Wow, they got hookups here. Cool. I'm going to camp up at Bayfield tonight. I wanted to get farther than just here. I've seen this online though. But what a perfect little campground and a perfect little town. Herbster, Wisconsin. Always fun to look back and where you've been. <laughs> really enjoying this rear view cam. Gives a little better perspective. Okay, we'll cut back up. Pick up uh, Highway 13 again. East. We got more to see. Right now it's right around uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We left Superior early, as usual. I'm always on the road early. It's 
So far we're getting a little more blue sky, which is good. It is heating up actually, it's getting kind of warm. Which is good too. Well, right up the road here, not too far, will be another little town. They even got a marina there. Should see uh, some boats and stuff. Let's check her out. Okay, looks like we're getting into the town of Cornucopia. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Looks like they got a marina, beach, shipwrecks. This ought to be a fun stop. Wow, pretty good size marina right there to the left. There should be a little parking area right up here. Well, here you go. Found a boat for sale. Slightly used. Wow. Actually, that's pretty intact. Probably sat in the water a long time. We got a few of them in here. Old fishing boats. Bringing home the catch. There's pictures of them when they were still uh, in use. Wow. Can you imagine the amount of weather Snow, ice, everything that happens here. Well, let's check out the marina. Take a walk, get out of that van for a little while. Bounty from the land. Fishing history back forever here. Talking about beaver and how this is over forested. They came in and knocked all the trees down. This must be their museum, which is not open. I already looked. Wow, that's a huge crane. Life of a fisherman. That one's all enclosed. Cindy Marie. Birthed right out of here. That is one nice sailboat for sale. All boats are for sale. <laughs> That's a big one there. That would handle some wa rough water. This must be like little stores. Wow, look at the two outdrives on that. Two big engines. That's a clean looking boat. And there's the minnow out for a three hour tour. <laughs> 
Gilligan's Island, huh? Yeah, they got really nice sailboats here. No bridges to go under, so. Pretty cool. There's the entrance into the harbor. Got a wall, metal wall, break the waves. Yeah, that is one big crane. Let's pick up a boat and set it right in the water. Well, we'll mosey back towards the van. I had boats for years and RVs are bad enough. These are the, like little gift shops. Pottery, antiques. That's cool. What a view there. So you can see their little harbor, all protected. When bad storms hit. I've always heard and read that those thunderstorms that come off these lakes are really intense. Northern Wisconsin, definitely a place to come visit. A little bit of everything here. Let's see what else we can find. We're, we're having a pretty good day here, finding all kinds of places to snoop around. I didn't see any camping in here. I'm sure there's something around here. It has to be. That look, all look like day use. Well, I had to stop. I only went like a eighth of a mile. This parking lot was sitting here. Got a big storyboard. A big tragedy, Native American history. Wow. Long time ago, huh? There's a boat going into that harbor. Been out fishing, I bet. Perfect place to walk your dog. Even got a picnic table out here. Okay. I just had to stop when I seen that storyboard. Thought we need to check that. picnic area right here next to that harbor. Whoa. 
well, let's see what else we can find. We're going to head up towards that sand bay. Which is a little ways off uh, Highway 13 here. Well, I just turned around. I drove, went rifling right past this. This is called Myers Beach. We got to check this. It said Apostle Islands and Myers Beach. Yeah, I went winging past here like 50, 60 miles an hour. Parking area here, it said fee base, but guess what? I got my uh, lifetime card for national parks and all these places like this. Wow, look at all the kayaks. Goodness. Okay, well, let's do this. I need a big parking area. I'll just park out front. I'm not hauling a trailer, so I can just park here and walk. I need the exercise anyway. Let's check this place out. National Shoreline. But see, my uh, lifetime pass gets me in all these places. I always get asked a lot. It cost, uh, oh, a few years ago I had to pay $80. When you're a senior, you can get one of these cards. And that to get you in not only national parks, anything like this, where there's fees. You also get discounts on camping as well. This is Kayak Central. Look at all these kayaks. I see you rent a kayak and they take you out and you can go and see the mainland sea caves. Well, I'm not going to rent a kayak, but I could walk down to the beach. We say we do that. Got what weather board? Let me know how the waves are doing. Winds, all that. Yeah, you don't want to get caught out there at the kayak. Look at that. One of those uh, ranger people said that it's almost a three mile hike in the sand. So you can hike out. I, I'm not going to do that, but we can walk down the beach and see what we can find. Yeah, look at all them people. They're learning how to go out in that kayak. Cool. Well, what do you say? Let's head on down. Well, looks like a pretty good view. That Apostle Island's supposed to be out here somewhere. Very thick sand. Okay. Here you go. Here's Mighty Lake Superior. That water is crystal clear. So I think those sea caves were the other direction. Way out there somewhere. 
out at the end there there they are that would be quite a hike wow look at this driftwood wonder how long it's been laying here People would love to have that in their yard for artwork and all that, huh? Mother Nature and Lake Superior sculpture right there. Pretty cool. All right, well, th this was worth a stop, I think. be quite a little adventure to load in a kayak and head all the way up there. berries in here in the bushes. Everything can grow good here. Lots of uh, water and moisture. Alright, I'd want one with a motor on it. <laughs> I don't know about them oars, but yeah, maybe a motor. <laughs> Well, carrying them down is one thing, carrying that thing back up would be another. See quite a few companies that uh, rent those things. There goes one there. Probably guided, got guides on the kayaks and everything. Well, good. Glad I turned around for that one. Not too much farther up the road. We're going to go up that sand bay. It's supposed to be a really nice campground up there. That's a few miles up off of uh, Highway 13 here. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter. And also, you can get free screensaver downloads. All you got to do is enter your email and sign up for it. We put out a newsletter on the 5th and 20th each month now. Also, I got merch, merch store if you're interested. Coffee mugs, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of goodies. Coloring books, cookbooks. Put out a cookbook about Instapot cooking. Be sure to check it out. And all of that helps support future travels and videos just like this one. Okay, we need to make a left here. We need to cut up a few miles. Looks like about eight, nine miles up to Sand Bay, Wisconsin. So far the roads, we hit that construction way early this morning. Roads have been good. Looks like a few farms up through here. Well, should be up to Sand Bay before we know it. And we need to make a left here. When we leave, we're going to go straight. That'll take us down to Bayview. Okay, make a left. And Lake Superior and Sand Bay should be right up the road here.
very interesting trip on this Wisconsin Scenic Byway. When I looked at it in the maps, I wasn't sure planning it, but it's been uh, this one to remember. This campground up here had high reviews, almost all of them up through here. Why not? If you want to beat the heat, this is where you want to come to. Yay, there's the sign, Fossil Islands and Sand Bay. Campground's called Little Sand Bay Campground. I'm sure there's vast history here. Can you imagine back in the day when people used to come up here when there wasn't no paved roads, probably all dirt roads. And looks like we made it. There's the camp. Wow, that is a big campground. Holy moly. And it looks like a parking lot. Okay. And a big park. All right. We say take a little walk. See quite a few tent campers. They can camp right in here. Boat grant fees. And a marina. We are way up top, Wisconsin, way up. Wisconsin's Maritime Trails, Historic Shipwrecks. Wow. I read somewhere it's like 10,000 shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. Maybe that was right. They've only found a few. Another weather board. We're even in a small motorized boat. You get out in these lakes, the winds kick up. Pretty good white caps and rough, uh, rough water. Of course, you're from this area, you're probably used to it. Couple nice boats there. That's not Coast Guard, that's what? U.S. Uh, Forest Service, or government boat anyway. Wow, look at the size of them rocks. Whew. This thing ain't going anywhere. It is anchored. Metal with all that rock. Really protects this little harbor and marina though. Yay, we made it to the end out here at Sand Bay. What a pretty place. But oh, look at that crew of feathered bums. Look at them. <laughs> They're just hanging around for something to eat. Isn't that funny? What a view they have. They're, they're people watching. They're watching boaters go out. So you got the harbor and a campground. Pretty much that's it out here.
They probably got boats that run out to that island. There's several islands out through here. There's one of them. This sign is kind of toasted. Apostle Islands National Lake Shore. Yeah, they gotta have boats that run out there. Yeah, look at the size of that campground. That's good size. And they got hookups. There's power. Power and water here. Well, we'll drive up to this end, see if we missed anything. Like a small little gift shop, sells bait and stuff off to the right. And this looks like a parking lot. I'd say we're at the end of it. This is probably one popular place. I didn't check online. I didn't try to book a site up here. I, I should have. I wouldn't mind spending a night up here. That's okay. Gonna be heading down to Bayfield. But yeah, I'd, I'd come back and camp at this one. Bunch of tent campers right there. Bet fall colors up here are just beautiful too. Gotta be. All right, make a left here. We got a few miles left. Gonna head down into Bayfield. Gonna spend the night there. There's supposed to be a big uh, marine museum. Gonna be checking that out. Journey continues. Talk soon.